Okay, here we go. Just a couple of four ace ideas. The first one is a spectator cuts to the aces routine. Um, I've never seen this one in print before. I saw it actually on YouTube. A magician by the name of Connor Collins is where I saw this. But what you do is you have the spectator cut the deck into four packets, like so. Okay, and then just to give you a fresh starting position, let's go ahead and give you this guy's little mix. And then if you would, go ahead and make the cut. So now the spectator is going to cut four packets of cards. We're going to take the card that you cut to from each packet. And then let's see how you did. We got the one, two, three, four aces. That would be the ace of hearts, the ace of spades, the ace of clubs, and the ace of diamonds. Okay, so there you go, guys. That's from Connor Collins Magic. Uh, spectator cuts the aces. If that's in print somewhere and you guys know where that is or who to credit for that, um, leave a comment for me and let me know, okay? So here's the other idea. This is um, Ed Marlowe's Miracle Ace Cutting Routine with the John Scarney presentation, okay? So the way I like to perform this is I would talk about John Scarney, how he, would, he claimed he could take any deck from anywhere in the world, shuffled pack, and then he could cut to the four aces, okay? So Scarney would take the cards, he'd give them a shuffle, uh, much like the one you see here. He would then make sure all the cards are squared up, just like this, and then from that shuffle deck, he would reach over and he would try to cut to one of the aces, and in this case, he would cut to the ace of clubs. That's ace number one. Now, Scarney would always show that if he was one card high or one card low, he would have missed, and he would make the emphasis that there's no breaks and there's no crimps in the deck. Scarney would then square the cards up. He would reach over for that second ace. He would make the cut, and then he would show that he has now cut to the ace of diamonds. It's two aces down, two aces to go, and he would always show that one card in either direction he would have missed. Now, it was on this third ace that Scarney would give a couple of cuts to the pack. He would square everything up, and then he would reach over a third time, and he would make that cut, and he would show that he's now cut exactly to the ace of spades. So we've got the club, the diamond, the spade. We're missing one. It would be the ace of hearts. Scrawny would then spread the cards and show that the ace of hearts is still down in the center of the pack. He would square everything up. And it was at this point that John Scrawny knew if he re would reach over and if he could cut exactly 20 cards. Actually, why don't I have you do it? Just take the deck and count down to the 20th card. And now the spectator is going to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And in the 20th position, they're going to find the fourth and final ace, the Ace of Hearts. And that's Marlowe's Miracle Ace Cutting, the John Scarney presentation. And again, the first trick is from Connor Collins Magic called um, that Spectator Cuts the Aces. So a couple ideas there, guys. Hope you like something. Hope maybe you could use something or maybe it uh, gives you an idea uh, that you could take it into a different direction. I don't know. But uh, hope you guys liked it. Till next time, take care.